More news is coming out about Fendelver and Below the Shattered Obelisk. Game Master is here, and I wanted to read to you the copy that will be presented on the back of the book, but I also wanted to share with you the covers, as well as the Collector Edition's alternate cover. Here is what the back of the book will read. What lurks below Fandolin, a beloved town in unimaginable danger? Whether the heroes are newcomers to Fandolin or are returning after the acclaimed Dungeons & Dragons adventure Lost Mine of Fandelver, they discover hints of a threat lurking below the town. The heroes soon learn that the cult of a malevolent entity has set its sights on transforming Fandolin into an evil capital into a capital of its evil empire. To save the town from oblivion, the heroes must uncover a nefarious plot and confront the otherworldly cultists. Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk, is a high fantasy adventure that begins with the familiar story of the Lost Mine of Fandelver and then delves into the perilous Underdark, where dangerous secrets fester and evil is afoot. A Dungeons & Dragons adventure that takes characters from 1st level to 12th level. Now, during that read, we saw the regular cover, but check this out. The collector's cover uh, looks something like, I don't know, like a, a Mountain Dew-induced nightmare, and that's not a bad thing. We've also learned that this book will retain the original Lost Mine of Fandelver quests, but where that adventure would normally have ended, uh, this Fandelver and Below will continue that into a full-fledged campaign. There will be a bestiary with about two dozen new creatures that will showcase, or that will be showcased, and these are the words directly from Wizards of the Coast. They will be... Um, uh, monsters with psionic magic, body horror, and more. And it also appears that there will be an appendix for magic items that will include new consumable magic, uh, meta magic items uh, as well. And we've mentioned this before, but there will also be a double sided poster map with the region of Fandolin on one side and the map of Fandolin itself, plus key maps of encounters on the other. One last thing I observed the original adventure, Lost Mine, had a page count of just over 60 pages. This new book, Fandelver and Below, advertises to being about 200 pages. This more or less means that we will be getting about 140 pages of new material. Of course, it also means, too, that those that already had the original adventure are paying that 60 MSRP uh, for 140 new pages. So your mileage of enjoyment may vary. I don't know. I'm on the fence with this. On one hand, I find it kind of cool to be able to continue a classic adventure. Uh, well, classic in, in terms of something that's been established in 5th edition. But on the other hand, I'm still a little raw with everything that Wizards and Hasbro has been putting us through. I think we can all admit, though, that that collector's cover looks pretty sweet. And with that, I'll leave it up to you all. And if you'd like to see more information that we've covered about the new Fandolin book, be sure to check out this playlist. How do you feel about the continuation of the classic adventure in Fandelver and below, the Shattered Obelisk? And what are your thoughts on the additional content, such as the new creatures, magic items, and expanded storyline? Let me know down in the comments, and until next our paths cross, may you avoid that malevolent cult's grasp.